In the mathematical field of descriptive set theory, a point class is a collection of sets of points, where a point is ordinarily understood to be an element of some perfect Polish space. In practice, a point class is usually characterized by some sort of definability property, for example, the collection of all open sets in some fixed collection of Polish spaces is a point class. An open set may be seen as in some sense definable because it cannot be a purely arbitrary collection of points. For any point in the set, all points sufficiently close to that point must also be in the set. Point classes find application in formulating many important principles and theorems from set theory and real analysis. Strong set theoretic principles may be stated in terms of the determinacy of various point classes, which in turn implies that sets in those point classes or sometimes larger ones of regularity properties such as Lebesgue measurability and indeed universal measurability, the property of Baer, and the perfect set property. Topic. Basic framework In practice, descriptive set theorists often simplify matters by working in a fixed Polish space such as bare space or sometimes Cantor space, each of which has the advantage of being zero-dimensional, and indeed homeomorphic to its finite or countable powers, so that considerations of dimensionality never arise. Moskovakis provides greater generality by fixing once and for all a collection of underlying Polish spaces, including the set of all naturals, the set of all reals, bare space, and Cantor space, and otherwise allowing the reader to throw in any desired perfect Polish space. Then he defines a product space to be any finite Cartesian product of these underlying spaces. Then, for example, the point class Sigma one zero display style bold symbol sigma underscore one caret zero of all open sets means the collection of all open subsets of one of these product spaces. This approach prevents sigma one zero display style bold symbol sigma underscore one caret zero from being a proper class, while avoiding excessive specificity as to the particular Polish spaces being considered, given that the focus is on the fact that sigma one zero display style bold symbol sigma underscore one caret zero is the collection of open sets, not on the spaces themselves. Topic: Boldface point classes. The point classes in the Borel hierarchy and in the more complex projective hierarchy are represented by sub and superscripted Greek letters in boldface fonts. For example, pi one zero display style bold symbol pi underscore one caret zero is the point class of all closed sets sigma 2 0 display style bold symbol sigma underscore 2 caret 0 is the point class of all f sigma sets delta 2 0 display style bold symbol delta underscore 2 caret 0 is the collection of all sets that are simultaneously f sigma and g delta and sigma 1 1 display style bold symbol sigma underscore 1 caret 1 is the point class of all analytic sets sets in such point classes need be definable only up to a point for example, every singleton set in a Polish space is closed, and thus pi one zero display style bold symbol pi underscore one caret zero. Therefore, it cannot be that every pi one 
zero. Display style bold symbol pi underscore one carrot zero. Set must be more definable than an arbitrary element of a Polish space, say an arbitrary real number or an arbitrary countable sequence of natural numbers. Boldface point classes, however, may and in practice ordinarily do require that sets in the class be definable relative to some real number, taken as an oracle. In that sense, membership in a boldface point class is a definability property, even though it is not absolute definability, but only definability with respect to a possibly undefinable real number. Boldface point classes, or at least the ones ordinarily considered, are closed under wadge reducibility, that is, given a set in the point class, its inverse image under a continuous function from a product space to the space of which the given set is a subset is also in the given point class. Thus a boldface point class is a downward closed union of wadge degrees. Topic: Lightface point classes. The Borel and projective hierarchies have analogs in effective descriptive set theory, in which the definability property is no longer relativized to an oracle, but is made absolute. For example, if one fixes some collection of basic open neighborhoods, say in bare space, the collection of sets of the form x element of U, S as an initial segment of X for each fixed finite sequence S of natural numbers, then the open or sigma one zero display style bold symbol sigma underscore one caret zero Sets may be characterized as all arbitrary unions of basic open neighborhoods. The analogous sigma one zero display style sigma underscore one caret zero sets with a light face sigma display style sigma are no longer arbitrary unions of such neighborhoods, but computable unions of them. That is, a set as lightface sigma one zero display style sigma underscore one caret zero also called effectively open, if there is a computable set S of finite sequences of naturals such that the given set is the union of the sets X element of U, S as an initial segment of X for S in S A set as lightface pi 1 0 display style pi underscore 1 caret 0 if it is the complement of a sigma one zero display style sigma underscore one caret zero set. Thus each sigma one zero display style sigma underscore one caret zero set has at least one index, which describes the computable function enumerating the basic open sets from which it is composed, in fact it will have infinitely many such indices. Similarly, an index for a pi 1 0 display style pi underscore 1 caret 0 Set B describes the computable function enumerating the basic open sets in the complement of B. A set A as lightface sigma two zero display style sigma underscore two caret zero. If it is a union of a computable sequence of pi one zero. Display style pi underscore one caret zero sets that is there is a computable enumeration of indices of pi one zero display style pi underscore one caret zero sets such that A is the union of these sets. 
This relationship between light face sets and their indices is used to extend the light face Borel hierarchy into the transfinite, via recursive ordinals. This produces that hyperarithmetic hierarchy, which is the light face analogue of the Borel hierarchy. The finite levels of the hyperarithmetic hierarchy are known as the arithmetical hierarchy. A similar treatment can be applied to the projective hierarchy. Its light face analogue is known as the analytical hierarchy. Summary Each class is at least as large as the classes above it. 